What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube, and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. There are just under two weeks until the next Core Core magazine is officially released, and we're expecting a ton of new information to lie in it. But in the meantime, fake scans are flying all over the internet, like this. But out of every scan, this one seems to interest fans the most. It's a scan released after E3 showcasing a set of silhouettes that are to receive Mega Evolutions in these upcoming Pokemon games. Underneath, there are multiple screenshots showcasing various scenes in the game, but fans are almost certain that this scan is fake, especially with the screenshots being of things we've seen already and the anti missing from the set of silhouettes. But this scan was made based off popular fan ideas on who should receive Mega Evolutions in these upcoming games. So let's take a look more in depth and see how Pokemon fans, including myself, want these Pokemon to turn out if they were to Mega Evolve. To start off, we're gonna take a look at these two, Zangus and Seviper, which are based off the Mongoose and Snake and their never-ending rivalry and friendship as it's called. Zangus and Seviper also behave similarly, as can be seen both in the anime and in the games. Their stats and abilities are also a reflection of their real-life counterparts. Zangus is fast and specializes in physical combat, and Seviper is slower but has both strong physical attack and special attack. Zangus's ability makes it immune to poison, and Seviper's ability allows allows it to shed its skin and remove status conditions. This leads fans to believing that the two will maintain their rivalry even in their mega forms. Again, by hosting a poll on Twitter, we've got ideas on how Pokemon fans feel these two should turn out if they were to mega evolve. Let's begin with Mega Zangus. Zangus itself is actually a deadly Pokemon if it's used correctly and successfully. With great attack and speed and a good ability, Zangus is able to take down the strongest of walls in its tier. It's well known for its massive facade combo while holding a toxic orb. Zangus's attack is boosted when it's poisoned thanks to its ability, and facade's power doubles because of the poison as well, and in combination with the stab bonus, it has a base power of 210. The suggested typing for it is normal in fighting, especially with Zangus learning a ton of normal and fighting moves to benefit from, and the most popular abilities for a Mega Zangus from fan suggestions are Tough Claws, Guts, and Scrappy. Tough Claws would boost contact moves by 33% at no cost, and with nearly Zangus' entire moveset being contact moves, it would definitely make sense. Guts is self-explanatory. As a better version of Toxic Boost, Zangus can not only force the opponent to resist using a move that can place a status condition, especially a burn on you, but also allow you to benefit from it with a 50% attack boost. Scrappy, which would allow the user to hit ghost types with normal and fighting moves, would allow Zangus to use stab attacks on ghost types and not run moves like Night Slash just for them. Here's a fan design for Omega Zangus. The red scars it once had grow and spread to various parts of its body. Its fur itself expands to form a thicker coat as well as a fur collar. Overall, with very few additions, this design looks like a more matured Zangus, a bigger scale of its former self, making it look like it would maintain the same ability and stat structure. In this concept art, Zangus undergoes a full form change to take on a full mongoose-like appearance. Its legs and arms grow out with small patches of purple forming similar to the patches of red it originally had. Its head also grows out along with other features like its fangs and overall looks much more like a mongoose. It looks like it would be much more faster, but in my opinion, I just don't see this being something Game Freak would design. But with big form changes being a thing like Pinsir to Mega Pinsir and Gengar to Mega Gengar, it's possible. And in this final fan design, Zangus undergoes a unique transformation. Its claws group together and turn poison purple, and its feet grow claws of its own. Two horns appear on the side of its face, and its overall body becomes larger, with the red and black design over a red and white one. This design seems to support the idea that Mega Zangus should be in normal poison types, which in my opinion doesn't seem as likely considering the only real poison move it can learn is Poison Jab. Next up is Mega Seviper. Seviper is actually a very dangerous Pokemon in its tier, especially with its high mixed offenses and an amazing move pool for almost perfect type coverage. However, with abilities that aren't as beneficial as others and low defenses and speed, it's a fairly easy target to take down, but if it's given the chance, it will bite a hole in your team. Stat-wise, Mega Seviper should get a balanced boost to both its offenses and its defenses to not only allow it to deal more damage, but take more hits on the field. Fans suggest that it should become a Poison Dark type, which would not only bring down its weaknesses to a single ground weakness, but would also provide extra powers to move like Crunch and Dark Pulse. The most popular abilities for a Mega Seviper were Sheer Force, Poison Touch, and Intimidate. It was also heavily suggested that it should get a new ability that increases damage when dealt to a Poison target. 
Sheer Force would provide 30% more power to moves with secondary effects at the cost of the effect, to provide a lot more power to its attacks, both physical and special. Poison Touch would allow the Viper to have the chance to poison the opponent on contact and limit the enemy's turns to take them out. Intimidate would allow the Viper to get the upper hand when sent out against the physical attacker and can be used as a defensive wall. And lastly, with an ability that increases damage on poison targets, the Viper would have its own unique strength, just like Talonflame's Gale Wings and Mega Kangaskhan's Parental Bond, and it will be something to watch out for. In this fan-made design of Omega the Viper, it obtains a more intimidating appearance. Yellow spikes form out of the yellow spots originally on the Viper, and its tail extends and grows much larger with the blade-like look forming on both sides. Its fangs grow out and form a mask on its face, and the point on top of its head grows longer. Here's another design with similar form changes, just with the sharp hook-like tail. This overall gives a more speedy, stealthy, but deadly look, supporting the abilities mentioned earlier. This next fan design shows a much different idea on how a Mega Viper could look. A second head grows out next to the original head and pink spots form inside the yellow spots down to its tail where it splits into two again. This design gives off the idea of the Viper being much more offensive but not as fast, but I can definitely see Game Freak making a similar design. And in this final Mega Viper design, it overall gains a more majestic appearance. The markings on its face grow out and form a crown, while the markings on its body grow into a chain-like appearance with the red jewel in the center. It overall looks more like a serpent, and the additions make it look like it supports the idea of gaining more potential defensively. With the way other Megas like Medicham have turned out, I can imagine Mega Viper to look like this, and I can also see a design like this replacing the Battle Pike Viper building. But anyways, that's it for this concept video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Leave your own opinions on what abilities and stat gains Mega Viper and Mega Zangu should get if they were to get a Mega Evolution in these upcoming Pokemon games. There are a lot more Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire videos to come, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. To see a similar concept video on Mega Sharpedo and Mega Camerupt, go ahead and check out the video on the left.